known for singing lullabies that can put enemies and friends to sleep. In Smash Brothers, this is a very prevalent fact in Jigglypuff, but we have an amiibo recently hitting the market now, which doesn't have that master ability that Jigglypuff brings to the table, I mean, other than floating and being a balloon in general. We have a Jigglypuff amiibo that won't be able to sing, and um, most of you can probably guess why it can't, but if you're a little slower on the catch, it's mainly because this Jigglypuff amiibo, my friends, has no fucking mouth. As you can see right here on eBay, and this will be of course linked in the description, there was another amiibo defect on the market, and there have been a couple, but usually now these amiibo defects aren't really defects as much as they're just the amiibo breaking in the packaging at some point. So that's why I haven't really covered a lot of them, because some people were like, oh look at this defect, but it's literally just an arm falling off and it's like on the ground. I mean, we haven't seen a true defect in a long time. And by defect, there's something extra or off, and not off in terms of like broken off, but something that's like really fucking weird, like um, for example, the peach with three arms, or the mark with two heads in the box, or the Bowser with um, with his own head off, you know what I mean? And actually in the packaging held up, you know what I mean? So, stuff like that, even though I guess the Bowser one can count as it being broken off, but if it, it was originally in the packaging and the timing and the, and the placement just made it look crazy. So I'm talking defects, and we have another, I guess minimal, but still prevalent defect on a Jigglypuff amiibo. As if Jigglypuff isn't rare enough for being a way for exclusive for best, excuse me, for target, you also have one that has no mouth here. So yeah, and now here's the thing guys, remember when the amiibo defects, the defects started coming out? Um, they sold for a lot more than $100, but that's a starting bid on this thing. Is it possible to see if there were any more bids on it? Let me, let me take a look here. Yay. Well, maybe you can't keep track of the bids. Zero bids. Okay, so this hasn't really been bidding on yet. I'm gonna refresh the page real quick. And still no bids. There's six days and 19 hours left on it. To be honest with you, this is probably a defect that will never be seen again, or rarely be seen again. But then again, there are ways for, I, I, I don't know. I just don't see this as something that's gonna be common. You know, Dooley Puff with no mouth. And to be honest, $100 as a starting price does seem I guess reasonable for people who have a lot of money. Like if you had a lot of fucking money to blow and you wanted to get a way for exclusive and on top of it get it with a major defect like that. Well, I don't know. Can it be considered major? Probably. Yeah, yeah I, I think so. It doesn't have a fucking mouth. That's kind of cool. But um, yeah, guys. You, um, wait. Let me see here. Wait a minute. Oh, it's it's showing he's showing more pictures of it in the packaging. So as you can see, yeah. Um, let's open this link into a new tab. Let's open this one into a new tab, and the these one. That didn't work. Okay, we're going to try that one more time. Let's open image in a new tab. Okay, that's just not working. Um, trying to, okay, there we go, cool. So um, let's open the image in a new tab. Maybe they'll show it bigger. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see there, it clearly has no fucking yapper. Very interesting, to be honest. I kind of find it, some people may think this is a little underwhelming in terms of the defect, but I think it's actually kind of cool, considering that Jigglypuff is a singing Pokemon. How badass would it be to be able to have this amiibo in your arsenal? To be honest, I wish I had the money to get this thing. I mean, but then again, I'm not, in, I'm, I mean, spend, you know, it's a bid. So you spend $100, but you're not gonna get it right away. I don't think it even has an option to buy it right away. Does it? Oh, oh that's not it. <laughs> what the hell? Well, anyways, um. But yeah, I don't even think it has an option to buy it right away. Right now it says the item condition is new, time left, and starting bid. But yeah, there's no option to really buy it right away, I think. Yeah, I don't see that. So I mean, I'm guessing that you cannot buy it right away. You have to bid, and the bid ends in six days. So I'll be keeping a track on this, and we'll see we have the final buying prices of this Jigglypuff, because I doubt it's gonna be $100. Um, I, this video might just expose this amiibo to somebody who wants to buy it. So whatever the case may be, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Uh, it's kind of cool to see some of these defects come back. The, the, the market got a little quiet for a while. I'm like, oh man, I guess they weren't intentionally making these things fucked up, but turns out they are. So yay, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.